Hey guys, it's Grizzly. I'm back doing the first video on one of the features of the Center for Urban Ecology, the glass walls. Well, we're at the first floor of the Center for Urban Ecology in what we like to call the sunroom. As you can probably see, uh, these walls are made primarily of glass and it is primarily lit by natural sunlight. Now, sometimes for the evening programs that we do, like our crowds or our guides and scout groups, we do turn on the lights, but for the most part, the lights hardly go on here during the day. Now, these glass walls provide an amazing opportunity to see a variety of different wildlife. I myself saw my first fox looking outside these walls, so it's pretty cool. These glass windows, or as we like to call them glass walls, make up the entire first floor of the Center for Urban Ecology. Now, these walls aren't your everyday type of walls that you may find in your homes. These are actually triple pane, as well as they are filled with argon gas. Now, the argon gas helps keep the heat out during the summertime, as well as keep the heat in the building during the wintertime. For those of you that have been here before, and for those of you that will be coming, you would have probably noticed that we have a black mesh hanging along on the outside of the building. Now, that mesh is not to stop the mosquitoes, but actually to stop the birds from hitting the building. Now, to give you a little background as to what was happening before the mesh, is that during migratory season, we'd have 30 to 40 deaths as a result from bird strikes on the building. Now, with the mesh, we only have two to three. So, what's happening with the birds is that because we're surrounded by trees, the glass reflects the trees, and the birds see that as a real life tree. And what happens is, unfortunately, they fly into the building and they die. So, the mesh breaks up the outline of the reflection of the trees just enough so the birds know, hey, this ain't no tree, and they fly away, resulting in basically no bird strikes, and most importantly, bird deaths due to the center of urban ecology. One of the most common comments that we have from visitors that come by is that the combination of the open design as well as the glass walls make you feel as if you're part of the outdoors. And there you have it folks, another reason to come by and visit the Center for Urban Ecology at the Humber Arboretum. Stay tuned for more videos, hope you enjoy. The Humber Arboretum, where learning is natural.